Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how on GarageBand you can make an auto-tune feature. Just like if you listen to T-Pain or something, something like that. Or, you know, other YouTubers use it too. Um, but it's a cool feature that auto-tunes your voice, so let's get started. First you're going to want to click the plus and start a new real instrument track. So you'll be given this, then you want to click the scissors button down here. And here you'll see enhanced tuning. You want to click that to max and limit to key. Now you want to set your key by going here. Automatically it'll be on measures. You want to go to project and select your key. For this demonstration, I'm just going to keep it in C major. You, If you don't know what you're going to use, you can leave it at C major and change it from there. So we can go ahead and close this now. I turn off my metronome. And we're ready to start. So this is what it's going to sound like. Hey guys, it's macOS Guru X and I'm using Auto-Tune. So now we can listen to it. Hey guys, it's macOS Guru X and I'm using Auto-Tune. So you can see it adds a cool effect. You really got to sustain notes so I could do like a uh, ooh. That kind of thing. And it sounds really cool. So you can have all sorts of fun like that. And it's really simple to do, you know. You can do it in basically like three clicks. So it's a really great feature on GarageBand that you can do. So I suggest you go on, try it out, and make some cool tunes. Uh, if you want to post a video response, go ahead. Um, the best uh, T-Pain uh, auto-tune um, best auto tune of uh, response will get featured on my video and will be get bleh, will be featured on my channel. Sorry, and will re re remain there for a week, and uh, you get some publicity, and I'll put your channel in uh, one of my videos. So go ahead, post replies, and thanks for watching, guys. Come right, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks.